Hey guys, I'm Benjamin, also known as Taz, and you are watching a video of The Guide. And in this video we want to cover the new defensive quick tactics, which have slightly changed in comparison to earlier FIFAs and now offer new ways to adjust to the game situation. And there's especially one quick tactic which will help you big time if you're trading in a game and need to score one or several goals. Also make sure to check out the video about the new attacking quick tactics, the link is in the video description. And now let's start with the defensive quick tactics. To open the menu of the defensive quick tactics you have to press down on the d-pad. Now the menu of the defensive quick tactics opens and as you can see with the four directions of the d-pad you can activate one of the four defensive quick tactics. When you do this the activated quick tactic is highlighted in green and it stays on. But there is one exception, it's the offside trap and I will explain it later. And to turn off a quick tactic you have to select it one more time. So in the menu when it's activated select it one more time and then it's deactivated. One more important thing to know about quick tactics, they have a higher priority than dynamic tactics or player instructions. So if you have settings for dynamic tactics or player instructions which are somewhat in contrast to the quick tactics, your players will behave accordingly to the quick tactic when activated. The first defensive quick tactic is striker drop back. You activate it by pressing up and then your striker or strikers will be in a more defensive position. They will cover more runs and this will increase your defensive stability. But on the other side it will be harder for you to counter attack because you're missing players up front. So striker drop back can be a very good tactic when you want to secure a lead in the last minutes of a game. But I have to be honest it's not always as noticeable as in this example. Next up we have overload ball side and you activate it by pressing right and when you do it your team will move more onto the side on the pitch where the ball is. So this will tighten the space for your opponent and your defense will be more compact but it does give more room on the other side of the pitch. So when your opponent is switching the side with a lob pass it's harder for you to defend on the other side. The third quick tactic is team pressing and this is a crucial one. When you activate it by pressing left, your team will push up on the field and play pressing. So as you can see in this examples, two midfielders will push up and will cover the center of the field. But not only the midfielders but also your strikers and wingers. So for example here we have a winger who is covering the fullback and this makes it very hard for your opponent to find a secure way to pass it. And just to make it clear, the quick tactic team pressing is the same as you would have picked constant pressure on dynamic tactics. But you have the advantage that you just can turn on and off. And the downsides are that it drains stamina and when your opponent overcomes your team pressing, you are very vulnerable in the defense because you are lacking defenders. So this quick tactic is especially useful when you are trailing in a game and you need to put a pressure on your opponent to get to the ball. As mentioned earlier, the offside trap works a little bit differently than all the other quick tactics because you don't turn it on and it stays on as you can see by the switch but instead when you activate it it works immediately. So this is the moment when your defenders will push up for the offside trap. In this example only the two center backs are pushing up because they are really far behind. Usually it's your whole defensive line and right after they will return to their normal position and behavior so they won't play an offside trap anymore unless you reactivate it. So it's possible to spam the offside trap by reactivating it several times as you can see in this example. The offside trap is reliant on a very good timing otherwise there is a high risk that you give away a very easy goal and that's why we recommend to be very cautious with it. Striker drop back can be used to secure a lead in the game and on the other side team pressing and overload ball side tighten the space for your opponent and can be used to increase the pressure on your opponent so that it's harder for him to securely pass the ball. The offside trap is a very risky tactic but can lead to a very fast gain of ball possession but on the other side you can lose the game within a heartbeat. So the defensive quick tactics offer you a very nice way to specifically adjust to the current game situation. So this is it for the defensive quick tactics, let us know in the comment section below what you are thinking about it and if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a thumbs up, we would highly appreciate it and also subscribe to this channel, activate the bell to not miss any of the guide videos. Also check out the video description for more videos of the guide and also more information about our private coaching in FIFA 19 with top 100 and elite players. Thanks for your attention, keep a clean sheet, I'm out.